Hey y'all, it's Javonda. Welcome back to another video. First of all, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all watch my last vlog, you know that I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving by myself this year. I got no kids. My family is not here. I'm just going to be chilling at the crib. But I did decide to just cook me some stuff for Thanksgiving. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys all the things that I'm cooking. And we're just going to have a ball. We're going to chill. We're going to relax. Today is just going to be all about me, okay? So if you are spending Thanksgiving alone like me, don't feel bad, boo. Get your plate, kick your feet up, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's go over what's going to be on the menu. So I have some garlic parmesan wings that I'm going to try to make. My friend sent me a recipe, so I'm going to try that out. Then we're going to do some southern fried cabbage for the first time. We're going to make some white rice. Got to make some rotel dip. You got to have that dip. Got to have that dip. And then we're going to be making my favorite dessert, which is cheesecake. I'm making that for the first time as well. So, yeah, a lot of these dishes are going to be me just trying them for the first time. So, yeah, y'all, hopefully everything comes out good. Because if not, we're going to be eating a bowl of cereal. All right, so first we're going to get started on uh, them chicken wings. Because they need to be marinating. I think I'm going to use this container. And y'all, these are my headphones, so don't mind them. Alright, All right, so these are the wings that I'm going to be using right here. It's about a pack of six. Child, these was $9. Uh-uh. I could have caught the chicken myself for cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and clean them off and get ready to season. Alright, let me wash my hands real quick. And this is not about to be no all-day thing, y'all, because I'm hungry. Chicken over here. Alright, y'all. Alright, the wings are done. I like to take these little, what y'all call these? Cooking scissors? And any of that little excess meat that be hanging over, like this, for instance, I'll take it and cut that off. See that? Cut it out. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and just get some of that water up off of it. Water, don't need no water. Don't need no water. Alright, let's see. Dang, we ain't got no more olive oil. It's a little sweet. Guess we gotta use vegetable oil. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna just take the vegetable oil and pour it on top of the chicken wings. This is gonna help the seasoning stick. It's gonna give it that nice little crispy skin, a glazed crispy skin. <laughs> Cause you don't want your chicken to be dried out. And you don't want it to have no seasoning, okay? I'm just gonna get it nice and oiled all over. And then I'm just gonna take my hands, kind of mix it in. All right, now this is the seasoning she told me to use. Can y'all believe it was only one of these left in the store? Like all the other seasonings were there, but this specific seasoning was this is the last pack child so it must be good if this is the only one left all right and i just put half the season on one side flip it over put the rest on the other side i think one pack is more than enough for this amount of chicken but if I were to do any more chicken, I would do two packs. All right, so now I'm just gonna add some onion powder. Just sprinkle a little bit. All right, so now that we got this nice and seasoned, I'm gonna put a plastic wrap over the top and just let this sit and marinate for a little while. Clean seal. And I'm just gonna put it over the top. 
because I want my food to be done around the same time. So I like to make sure that I am cooking everything accordingly. So now I can shake it up a little bit. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, so now for our cabbage. Do, 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 do. Cabbage, cabbage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that movie, y'all? Uh, name that reference. Money, money, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you name that movie, I'll give you a dollar. All right, so for the cabbage, I've already cleaned it off. So I'm going to cut it up and put it in this bowl. Let me get a cutting board. Yeah, this cutting board, I've been through some things. <laughs> get that water off. All right. I'll cut this should i cut it this way all right so i think i'm gonna cut this part off first and then cut it like this do, 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 do. yeah let's try that y'all this cabbage was hard to cut why is cabbage so hard to cut you better have a good knife i'm gonna cut it this way Fingers, child. Watch them fingers. This should be good enough. I'm just gonna take all this. So you can peel these apart easily now. And I'm just gonna put them in my container. Clean as you go, clean as you go. Alright, so now I'm about to cut up my bell peppers. So I'm gonna do half of this, half of that, half of that, and then I'm gonna cut up all of these. Scallions, I've cleaned everything off. That's what it's with. I'm gonna cut up all of these. You got your orange, your red, and green bell peppers, and then you have your green scallions. So we are ready to go with this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up my bacon into pieces and then cut up my sausage. This is the bacon that I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna cut it like this. This is my favorite sausage. So I'm gonna use one, maybe one and a half sausages, and I'm just gonna cut them like that. All right, so this is how the bacon is looking. I just used half of the bacon. And I'm just going to take these little pieces apart and start throwing them in my pan. All right, so now we got the sausage and the bacon cut up. We got our peppers. Everything that needs to be cut, I want to say, yeah, we're done with the cutting. So let's move on. All right, so the wings are in the air fryer. I put them at 350 degrees for about 22 minutes. I'm gonna flip them over halfway through. 
guys. So let's turn this eye on. I'm going to put it on medium. And we're about to cook our bacon and sausage. I'm going to do the bacon first. Let that cook down. And then I'm going to take that out and put the sausage in. All right, so now for my cheesecake, I'm going to be using a whole thing of cream cheese, this graham cracker pie crust, some heavy whipping cream, some sugar, and then I'm just gonna mix it all in a mixing bowl. So um, as far as measurements, I'm really going to be eyeballing everything so I'm not going to be doing any specific measurements so I put the whole stick of cream cheese this is about how much whipping cream I use I put like two spoonfuls of sugar and then I also added some because I didn't have vanilla extract I used this pure almond extract so let's go ahead and mix that up <music> So I think I might have added too much um, of the heavy cream. That. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the cream cheese. Let's see, I added a little bit more sugar, cream cheese. I'm gonna add a couple more drops of the almond extract. getting the consistency we need though. Just get a couple more of those lumps out. I think that's it. This is it. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar in there, but that's, that's starting to taste like cheesecake. Homemade cheesecake, baby. What can't she do? I right, put a little bit more sugar in that thing. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Don't, don't do too much. Don't go diabetical. Don't go diabetical. Don't go diabetical. Thanksgiving, it was a lot. Girl, I see why they be like, bring your dish, bring your dish, bring your dish. This girl trying to cook all your meals. It's a lot. Ooh, but she pretty. That's it. I taste that almond. Ooh, that almond is good. All right, so since our bacon is pretty much done, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that out. I'm gonna leave that grease in there though. How these wings looking? Ooh, wee! Baby, y'all hear that? Oh, that's good. Mmm, they smell good too. I had to put them back in, so I probably had them in there for about ooh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Because I wanted to get them brown like this. Alright, so now I'm just about to pour my cheesecake filling and to the bowl this is how it's looking so now i'm just gonna level it off until i fill up most of it it's probably not gonna go to the top but that is perfectly fine with me i'm just going to make it do what it do baby So now we're just going to take this cheesecake. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Not me being a baker. A baker. You want some pie? You want some pie? It's cheesecake. Back up. All right, I'm going to put it in the freezer for like 25 minutes. Be back. 
All right, so now I'm gonna just take some of that grease out. Not all of it, just some of it. All right, so now I'm just putting all those chopped veggies in there. Saute that. So while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start browning my meat. Y'all know Rotel is pretty much ground beef, and then you put all the seasonings. You're going to put all your cheeses in, so it's pretty simple. So if you don't really know how to cook and you got to bring a dish, this is probably the dish that you would want to bring. I'm just putting that cabbage right on top of those onions. Like that, let it cook on down. Okay, now this is ready. I'm just gonna drain this oil out and put it back into the pan. I got me a little small thing of water boiling over here for my rice. But what you wanna do is use like a cup of rice you want to use two cups of water to boil it in. If you use two cups of rice you want to use four cups of water to boil. Rice is pretty clean. I use the jasmine rice. It's by the brand Mahatma but you can use any any rice you like. I'm just I just like jasmine rice better. Rice is in. I like to put a little bit of butter in there and then I'll cover it and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes with the lid on. Don't take the lid off. And so this is what the cabbage looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. All right, so I'm gonna season with some adobo and some Cajun seasoning. Now we're about to dump that bacon and sausage back in and finish cooking. All right, for the Rotel, we're gonna be using this heavy whipping cream, this queso dip jalapeno. I couldn't find the cheese I was looking for, so I grabbed this. Some mild cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna put the rest of that cream cheese from the cheesecake. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna be cutting no more, but I forgot about the cheese. So now I'm just gonna start pouring everything in. I'm gonna do the whipping cream first. Alright, then we're gonna start putting the cheese in. Alright, so everything is in. Now I'm about to just start mixing it. Alright, now all we gotta do is just pour the can of Rotel in, and this should be good to go. I'm gonna do one can of Rotel. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit and thicken up a bit because it's a little too watery for me, but that's fine. If you let it sit, it'll start to thicken up, but you gotta keep the lid off. Now, the rice is finished. The cabbage is finished. This is what the wings are looking like. I went ahead and sprinkled some Parmesan and parsley on top of them. So those are finished. And this is the cheesecake. It's looking like it's finished as well. I can't shake it no more, move it. 
but I'm gonna keep that in the refrigerator until I'm ready to eat that. All right, we are good to go with that. All right, let's taste this dip. I got some Tostitos Hearty Dippers. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. It tastes a little different from like how I would make my usual Rotel, but I think it's because of that queso. But it's actually really good, I like it. Let's try the cabbage, what's looking like. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> Look at it, that looks good. All right, let's see what these wings hitting on. What they looking like. Nice and crispy. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I have some. Blue cheese. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's good. Ooh, everything is good. Ooh, I'm so proud of myself. All right. This skin is so good. The rice, I make it all the time. I know it's good. Whew. Y'all, I worked hard. Food came out really good. I'm very impressed. Now we gotta try the cheesecake. So I could probably put it in the refrigerator in the freezer a little bit longer, maybe about 10 more minutes. But I'm about to try it anyway. That's good. I like that crust. I usually don't care for the crust that much, but I like that one. I think that almond really like, the almond extract really pops in this. And I like it. I got me some whipped cream and strawberries. All right, y'all, my plate is made. Isn't she a beauty? Make my little drink. I got these two Tropicana drinks. I got peachy pineapple paradise and pina colada. So I'm about to just mix these together and see what they taste like. That is really good. All right, well, that's pretty much it for today, y'all. Thank you guys so much for kicking it with me, cooking with me for Thanksgiving. I really enjoyed you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm about to go get my food, my dessert, my appetizer, and I'm about to go watch my shop. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.